Poppin' yo, welcome back to another Keen Review. Keen is playing Roblox. So, I'm gonna start off the video with uh, the review of the set, like always, and Keen's gonna come in last minute and say his views on it and yeah, why he yeah. bought it. But with this set, it has one clip here, so you can fold it up like this, and you can open it back up. And there's another clip here, so you can clip it like this, so it's like this. Uh, this can be moved up and down, it's like the part that falls, if I just lift this up. My set is like too small for this set, like the big sets are really hard to do because I got like a small box, like this is both hands on both sides. It's a pretty small box that I'm reviewing in, if I just take... See, that's the space I have to do reviews in. And the tripod sits about here-ish. So... I gotta usually put it down for this stuff. So here we go. Put this back down, then you can see the majority of it. But there's some nice flames, nice translucent orange pieces to make the lava effect. The one thing I have that's trash about this set is that piece keeps falling off and it really annoys me. But it is a cool print with like a control panel for like moving thing. The one downside is that there's a lot of red and yellow. I wish there was more trans orange pieces so then like you could see it better, and like it would be more of a lava effect. But the black rock, uh, obsidian type stuff is pretty cool, and uh, you get a mining droid, which is nice. Uh, if you can probably tell when we take this out, uh, you can't move the mining droid. You can move the ar mining droid's arms a bit, but the reason that that has one stood on it is because Anakin is supposed to stand on it. And it's supposed to make him easier to fall off. Uh, because you're supposed to fight, if you know what I mean. Because there is these, like, little, uh, things at the back. So you're supposed to, like, duel, lightsaber duel. If we move yeah. this up out of the way. Yeah, definitely. Well. Then, go like that. You're supposed to lightsaber duel, and Obi-Wan can only fell off there, but it's supposed to be Anakin. But, either way. Move the figures to take the flare because we're still on about the review here. There is like a sliding technique here, and both things can only go this far across. What did I knock off now? Some fire. There is this set is like there's loads of pieces that you can easily knock off when playing because they're like loosely connected. But other than that, it's a good play set, pretty decent size. Uh, and now I'm done with the build, I think because here's the back view with like the lava falling and like this falls into the lava and it starts melting and stuff. Uh, you can stand them on here and like have them fight going across it. Pretty. You can also move these parts like up and down. Whoops. Uh, to make it like fall into the lava deeper. Uh, so then it goes down lower. Oh, you can just keep it straight so it sticks like this. But it does start sinking in the scene, so it's a pretty cool um, build and like design. They put a lot of thought into this set and a lot of effort into it. But I still think it could be better, so that's just my thing. It's good, but it's not the best. Uh, I've seen a custom on Instagram which is like way better, but it'd be way more expensive. But I think. Star Wars sets are ever expensive anyway, that's why I don't get many of them. Uh, Keen got this for his Christmas. Yes. Uh, this year, you know, Christmas has been... <gasps> My battery's too low to use flash, so we're going to have to make do and quickly do this review. Uh, because battery running low, you know. It's hard. Life. Uh, life, you know. <laughs> uh, so, here is the Obi-Wan figure. Has some nice toss... We'll zoom in for a bit. Uh, nice torso print, nice leg print, silver uh, lightsaber handle with a uh, blue blade because it's Obi Wan's. No leg, like no arm printing. Uh, nice torso print and back print. So this is like the dirty variant because they're fighting like in a mucky area. It's pretty cool. Hello there. Uh, he's got his fair face and his um, confident face. A lot of dirt, which is really nice, and it just shows how much detail goes into the figures. But moving on from uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, we're going into Anakin, because you underestimate his power, but he's still a pretty cool figure. Uh, this is the one we're going to struggle on, 
but it does have leg printing, it's really hard to see because my fur decided to cut out with lights. Uh, is there a torch anywhere? Alright, I'll be back. It. But you have a torch here. You'll have to make do with this. Uh, yeah, so you can see there he has some nice leg printing, uh, some nice like belt printing as well. Some nice torso printing. He's also like the dirty army one. Um, he doesn't have arm printing, but they're just normal brown. But he does have back torso printing there. Uh, he also does have. A back facial expression where he's angry and using the dark side. He also comes with um, a shiny lightsaber hilt and uh, like confident face. His blade is also blue. And sorry for the terrible lighting. I know it's not the best, but we have to get this review out. So we're gonna bring the set back and Kane's thoughts on everything. Great Star Wars set. Perfect. Masterpiece, really. Um, love the figures and everything. It's just amazing. Masterpiece. I do very, very much recommend it. And yeah, I rate it 10 out of 10. So, time to back it. Uh, that's about it. This is the last key interview of the day, so I hope you enjoyed seeing this one. Have a stay. Goodbye. Bye. Stay tuned for the Fortnite Live event, which I'm going to upload later. It is like Dead Mouth 5 and like the other ones. <laughs> concert. The other ones. Uh, yeah, I don't really remember the names, but yeah, hope you enjoyed seeing this one. Have a stay. Goodbye.